Hey guys, this week we will explore the truth that God is with us. God is always with his people, not just when going through a tough time. But it's when we are struggling that we tend to want him to be with us and help us the most. I am grateful that God is always with me, not just when I'm in the middle of a problem or a hard situation. In our Under Pressure series, we've been learning about the Israelites and how they lived through many high pressure situations in their lives. Today, we're going to take a look at the true story of a judge of Israel named Deborah and how God used her to once again rescue his people. Watch this. God's story, Deborah. So part of God's story is about a woman named Deborah. And it goes like this. God's special family was in some trouble. You see, Israel had started to turn away from God and stop following him. But because God loved his family, he wanted to send them a reminder that he was in charge and that it was really important to follow him. And so God allowed Jabin, the king of Canaan, to take over Israel. Now, Jabin had left Sisera, the commander of his armies, in control of Israel. And Sisera, well, he wasn't exactly the nicest guy. In fact, the Bible tells us that he had over 900 iron chariots which meant he was really powerful and he loved to bully the Israelites. The Israelites tried to resist, but they couldn't do it on their own. After 20 long years of trying to rescue themselves, Israel cried out to God and asked him to rescue them. Kids, it's always a good idea to ask for God's help. Even though God was king of his family, he chose people to lead them. They were called judges. One judge was named Deborah. She was also a prophet. Remember, a prophet is someone who hears from God and shares it. Deborah was a strong, powerful woman who listened to God, helped settle arguments among the Israelites, and worked to lead her nation back to their rescuer. Pretty cool, huh? And she had a message from God. He had heard the cries of the Israelites. So Deborah sent for a man named Barak and told him that if he took 10,000 men up to a place called Mount Tabor, she would bring Commander Sisera to him then they could stop Sisera from bullying Israel. But Barak wasn't so sure. In fact, he was pretty worried. He said that he would only go if Deborah would come with him. Deborah told Barak not to worry because God was going to deliver Commander Sisera not through him, but through the hands of a woman. Barak obeyed and gathered his men at Mount Tabor. But when Sisera heard about this new army, he rushed out to battle them with all 900 chariots rumbling along the ground. Now, Deborah could have been scared, but she knew God was with her. She said, get ready. This is the day the Lord will give you victory over Sisera, for the Lord is marching ahead of you. So Barak and his men charged Sisera and his army. The soldiers went forward and with God's help, defeated Sisera's chariots. Every one of his soldiers were killed. So Sisera went running for his life. He ran to a tent owned by a woman named Jael and asked her to hide him. She agreed and covered him with a blanket. He was pretty tired from all that running, so inside the tent, he fell asleep. When Barak arrived at the camp, Jael led him to Sisera's body. Just like Deborah had prophesied, Sisera had been delivered to Barak through the hands of a woman. With Sisera gone, God led his special family in battle after battle until Jabin, king of all of Canaan, had to surrender before the little nation of Israel. After that, Deborah and Barak burst into song, praised God, and celebrated how God had saved his family. And then there was peace for 40 years. And that's the story of Deborah. That is one incredible true story. And you can actually read about it in the book of Judges in the Bible. But do you remember what a judge is? A judge in the Bible was a leader of Israel. They were people who gave messages from God to the people and would help rescue them when they were in trouble. Last time, we started using the mercy cycle to understand more about the Israelites. Let's review it using the true story we just heard. In Judges chapter 4, we see that the Israelites chose to sin against God. Again! God allowed them to be overtaken by an enemy king. The commander of that king's army was very cruel to the Israelites for 20 years. The Israelites eventually cried out to God and repented or, or told him they were sorry for their sin. And here we see the introduction of the only female judge mentioned in the Bible. Her name was Deborah. Through Deborah and the commander of the Israelite army and a woman named Jael, 
God rescued the Israelites and gave them victory over their enemy. And then the Israelites lived in peace once again. God was certainly with Deborah and the Israelites. In fact, God promises to always be with his people. That's why it's important for us to remember that God is with us. Help me say that bottom line. God is with us. Deborah even reminded Barak, the Israelite army's commander, of that truth when they were about to go into battle with the enemy army. Listen to this. And Deborah said to Barak, Up, for this is a day in which the Lord has given Sisera into your hand. Does not the Lord go out before you? Judges 4, in the first part of verse 14. It seems that Deborah wanted Barak to remember that it was God who was with them, and it was God who would bring them victory. And he did. God loved the Israelites, and he took care of them. The Israelites were under pressure, but God was with them. Remember that God is with us, too, when things are going well and when they're not. If you are in a good place and not feeling a lot of pressure or stress in your life right now, that's great. You can praise God and show him how grateful you are for that. But maybe you are going through a hard time in your life. Maybe school or friendships or not being able to do what you're used to doing is making life hard for you. Maybe your family is struggling with something difficult, or maybe it's something else that's causing stress in your life. Whatever the case may be, something is making you feel like you just might crack. And maybe you feel like your life is in pieces. But check this out. If you have a relationship with God and believe he is with you, and you trust him and choose to follow his plan, then even when the pressures of life come, oh man, you can rely on his strength to keep your life from falling apart. Remember, God is with us. Can you say that with me? God is with us. Good. Let's do our best to remember that truth. See ya!